I'm building a team using the most expensive player from every nation using this wheel. Now, I really need the nations with the big players because I've got 23 million coins and I need to spend it all. As whatever's left at the end, I have to discard. And 23 million coins is the equivalent of opening $6,000 worth of packs. But there's a lot on the line. And our first nation is gonna be... Close to Brazil. But that is Bulgaria. And that isn't too bad because their most expensive card is 94 rated Ultimate Birthday Stoichkov. And he is going to cost me 2.875 million coins. What a fantastic start. Just 20 million coins left to spend. And as you saw, he was the cheapest card on the market, which is the ones I have to buy. So there's no cheating. Now, this is where it gets interesting, because if I can answer one question about Bulgaria, then I'll learn myself one respin for the next nation. And I'm probably going to need it. But what is that question going to be? What currency do they use in Bulgaria? I'm pretty sure that Bulgaria are part of the EU, and therefore, they are using euros. Oh, come on! Well, Bulgaria's an EU member state. It didn't adopt the euro, so it's still the Bulgarian left. I feel scammed. So that means whatever nation I get now, I have to take that nation. Oh, that is so frustrating. Oh, give me Norway. <laughs> tell you who the most expensive Norwegian is in FC24? It's not Martin Odegaard. It's not Team of the Year Hansen. It is Team of the Year Erling Haaland. Last time I checked, he's about 8 million coins. I must have checked a long time ago. That's great news because we've spent 7 million coins on two players. But the bad news is the attackers are always the most expensive players in the team. Goalies and defenders and CDMs are not that expensive. I have got nine players left and then a bonus round to spend all these coins. Now, what do I have to answer about Norway? The capital city. Uh, I always get the Scandinavian countries mixed up. I'm going to say the capital city is Oslo. Denmark's Copenhagen. Sweden is Stockholm. Finland is Helsinki. So Norway is Oslo. Oh, breathe in, my friends. Knowledge, geography, that big brain. So that has earned me a respin if I want it. So I can take the nation it spins me now or spin again for a different nation. Oh, what have we got there? That's Slovakia. And their most expensive player is Skriniar's radioactive card for 160,000 coins. It's a no from me. I'm going to respin. Slovakia's gone and we are spinning again. Brazil, 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 Bra Cameroon, I think. Yes, it is Cameroon. We should have done the game as I got to name what the country is because I don't really know my flags. Now, I know that Eto is from Cameroon and he's very expensive, but he's a striker and we don't need strikers, so I can't add him in the team. Well, I thought Eto was expensive. He's literally 94,000 coins. I can't believe how cheap he is. The next most expensive card is Lamkel Z. He's 62,000 coins. Oh my God days. I can't believe I've got to buy him. I'm going to put him up front and move Stoichkov over to the right wing because we have to keep the players playing in actual positions they play in. And I've still got 15.7 million coins left to spend. Oh, this is going to be hard one, I think. I can tell you right now, I know nothing about Cameroon. League winners. I couldn't even name one Cameroonian club. Can you name a Cameroonian club? I, I, no, I just don't know. But apparently, the top division in Cameroon is called Elite One. And the league winners last year were Coton Sports? If, like me, you've never heard of that team before in your life, like the video and subscribe to the channel right now and let's all not know it together. And as you're doing that, I am spinning this with no respin option. So I have to take whatever country we get. USA, actually, that could be good because we've got women footballers this year. If it was men's only, I'll be staring right down the face of a Hollings head who costs 64,000 coins. But luckily for me, women are in the game and there's a team of the year icon, Mia Hamm, 95 rated, five star, five star, and most importantly, 4.55 million Happy days. Now that is it for strikers. I literally cannot have any other attackers in the team. And I've still got 11 million coins to spend. Now, if I don't get this question right about the US, I'm going to be really disappointed with myself. Name three cities. Well, I can do that. New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. I'm just hoping none of them are states. I nearly said Texas. I was right. All three of them are cities. And I'm glad I didn't say Texas because that is a state. However, Texas City 
is a city. So that means I have a respin, and I reckon I'm going to need it. I need France or Brazil. Oh, I've just missed out on Brazil again. One away from Brazil. Now, the most expensive Canadian card in the game is flashback 89 rated Alfonso Davies, who has over 800,000 coins. Do I want that? Or do I want a respin? I want Alfonso because there's not that many more expensive left backs. Now, obviously, the SBC, I can't buy off the market. So we're just going to take off 830,000 coins from my total. Let's see what I would have got if I respan it. And also, this nation has to get removed from the wheel as well. I really don't want it to give me green good. Now, that is Romania. And I'm not upset at that because they're most expensive players, Georgie Hadji, and he couldn't fit in the team anyway. So happy days. Okay, what have I got to answer about Canada? Currency. If I don't get this right, I'm going to be so annoyed. They use the Canadian dollar. CAD, right? C-A-D. Canadian dollar. Canadian CAD, CAD, CAD. Come on! <laughs> Respin acquired. Now we've got six players left, then a bonus round, and we've got 10.3 million coins to try and spend. So I could still lose about $2,600 worth of coins. Our next nation. Come on. Netherlands, Brazil, France. We need one of those. I don't know if that is Ireland or Ivory Coast. Nobody does. Now, you might be thinking that their most expensive card is 90-rated Roy Keane, but it's actually not. It's 86 Team of the Week Katie McCabe for 120,000 coins. I don't need her in my squad. So I'm going to use the respin. Dutch would be Virgil van Dijk centre-back. That would be insane. He's about 5 million coins. Frost! Frost! Let's go! <laughs> Well, I don't know because I can't have Mbappe, can I? Which is annoying because if I had a space for him, this video would be complete because that card's over 12 million coins. The next most expensive card is left back Furlan Mendy for 6 million. But I can't buy him either because I took Alfonso. Oh, no. I live in a world of regret. And it's not all bad news because the most expensive card from France that fits into a slot in our team is team of the year icon, Patrick Vieira. Because his stats are amazing. And he is 3.1 million coins. Let's go. Spend those coinsies. This team is actually shaping up pretty darn well. Which is actually quite important. And I'll tell you why later. At least we have 7.2 million coins left to spend. But am I going to earn myself a respin? They are so important. Capital City. Oh, come on. Paris. Paris is the capital of France. Do we even need to check? Yeah, we do need to check because some of these will catch you out. I should never have doubted myself. Respin acquired. Now, we've still got some nations with some very expensive cards on here that we can use, like the Netherlands, Argentina, Italy, Portugal. But unless we hit that team of the year Van Dijk, I don't see how we're going to be spending 7.2 million. So I may need that bonus round. First spin. First spin. I thought that was going to be... I thought it was going to be Egypt and Mo Salah, who I actually couldn't add in the team anyway. But that looks like the Ecuador flag. It is Ecuador. And their most expensive player was SBC Sacido. It's a no from me. So I shall be removing Ecuador and re-spinning. We haven't had Brazil yet either. I'd love Brazil. Oh, please. Give me a big nation. Big... Oh, Brazil! I think that's Bosnia. This is where things are going to go downhill. Because their highest rated cards are only like 40, 50k, but they're all strikers. You'll never believe this, but their most expensive card is a 61 rated bronze player. How is he 5,600 coins? That's mental. And how is he now my centre back? I wonder how many coins I've got left now. Oh, still 7.3 million? Oh, what a surprise. This is turning into Mission Impossible, isn't it? Especially because I know less about Bosnia than I do about Cameroon. Come on, the capital, Chetsky? <laughs> do you know the capital? If you do, whack it in the comments, because I bet you don't. Sarajevo, I should have known that. I've heard of, uh, I'm so, 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 Sarajevo, Sarajevo. <laughs> All right, no respin. What makes that bronze even worse is I got to use this team in the bonus round. I don't want to lose 7 million coins. Come on, wheel. One spin, big player, expensive player. I don't want to lose 7 million coins. Oh, 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 this might not be too bad. That's Uruguay. And the first player that comes to my mind is 
Ara Hal. But he's not actually the most expensive. Darwin Nunes has got a 1.3 million coin card. I don't need any more attackers. So the most expensive player that we can buy for our team is Ara Hal. 486,000 coins. You know what? It's better than a bronze card. How much have I got left? Still 6.8 million. Fantastic. The only downside is I know nothing about Uruguay. Wait a minute, but I can have a stab at this. One country that is connected by land to Uruguay. It sounds like Paraguay, doesn't it? So Uruguay and Paraguay have got to be connected to each other, surely. So I'm saying Paraguay. Uruguay. Ah, oh, Argentina would have worked. Oh, you stink. That little bit there of Argentina, this little Misones province... Oh, that is beautiful, by the way. Oh, my word. Look at this. Wow. Anyway, if it wasn't for this, Paraguay would have connected to Uruguay. But as it doesn't, and I'm wrong, I don't get my respin. Come on, give me Dutch. I can still get Van Dijk in the team because Arahal does play right back. Dutch me. Dutch me. Dutch. Argentina me. Argentina me. Argentina. That's got to be good. Surely it's got to be good. Hang on a minute. I've just realized the wheel is rubbing it in my face by giving me Argentina. If only there was a messy right back in the game. <laughs> That'd be a dream. But as we don't, I'm going to be adding birthdays in Netty. And I don't think he's going to be that much, is he? Maybe he is. I was on birthday. I should have been on birthday icon. There's me thinking he's going to be like really expensive. He's actually 350,000. Oh, that's so annoying. My hopes were getting picked right up. And I realized I was on the wrong card type. So annoying. Oh, we're in hell of a mess, guys. Two players remaining 6.4 million coins currently being discarded that's over 1500 dollars worth i don't think you realize how badly i need the next respin all-time top goal scorer i'm glad he didn't ask me anything else that has got to be lionel messi it can't be anyone else messi who's Argentina's leading all-time top goal scorer messi 106 goals all right we've got the respin we need dutch we need english we need spanish we need Brazilian, we need German, any of those, and we are winning at life. Morocco. If it was FIFA 23, I'd be adding Team of the Year Hakimi right now into the squad and moving Zanetti into the CM spot, but it's not. In FC 24, their most expensive card is Masrawi. So I'm going to get rid of that off the wheel and re-spin. I don't think you realise how important this spin is. If it's really bad, I don't think even the bonus round will be able to save me. Oh my God, please be Italy. Oh my God, that actually could be amazing. Could it? I don't know. <laughs> now, I was about to put Zanetti into centre mid, Araujo into right back, and buy 94 Maldini for the team because he's over 2 million coins. But there's actually one player who's more expensive. Birthday Perlo is 2.75 million coins. 94 rated centre mid. I mean, the stats are pretty good. Is he 5 star, 5 star? He is 5 star, 5 star. Okay, that is a cracking card. And that is amazing for the team, but also for my bank balance. 3.7 million coins left to spend. Respin would be beautiful right now. Name one connected country to Italy. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you know why? Because obviously Italy is the... But what are the countries around here? It's not Spain and Portugal, because they're over there. Not France. Germany. Holland. I don't think Italy connects to Germany, though. Netherlands? I don't think it's the Netherlands either. <laughs> I'm going to say the Netherlands. Oh, I am fuming. The Netherlands. I, oh, come on. I'm so gutted. That has not gone well, has it? So I've got to take this country. Give me Brazil. Give me Brazil. Give me Brazil. India. Now, there actually isn't a most expensive goalkeeper from India because every goalkeeper is 200 coins. So it doesn't matter who I buy. As it stands, I've got to discard 3.7 million coins, but I've got the bonus round to try and save some. I've got to play one game with this team. And if I win, every goal I win by will take off 1 million coins from what I have to discard. It's not a bad team. Well done, Storches. Keep it in. Keep it in. Well done. Well done. Well done. Go on, Perlo. Perly. Perlo. Let's go. That's one. Just don't rage quit on me. Holland go. Holland. Oh, come on. Come on, Holland. The million dollar goal. Oh, <laughs> goal as a cucumber. Defend it. Defend it. Defend it. Defend it. <sighs> if I didn't have a bronze goalie, it wouldn't have gone in. Oh, that's so good. Mia Ham. Mia. Come on. Stoichers. Oh, no. Get your legs on, mate. Get your legs on. It's all down to you, bronze goalie. Oh, my hero. My absolute hero. Counter attack. Counter. Counter. Go. Stoichers, go. 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 
Marriott! Marriott! Oh, oh my god. Haaland, last chance. Last shot of the match. Bury it, top it! Bury it! One effort, but I've still got to discard 700,000 coins. So I'm going to buy this birthday de Jong for 700,000 coins and put him into an SBC. If you love this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And do you want to see me do real life football challenges to build my FC24 team? Then you're going to love watching this video.